guys welcome back to my youtube channel i'm excited i don't know why thank god this weather is making me also feel so good anyway i just want to thank you all for helping me to reach 300 subscribers it could have been it could have been without y'all thank you so much we're winners of 400 small ways matter so like if you're born to this channel but in this video and you have not subscribed sharp sharp subscribe like drop a comment your comments are super necessary well now there's been social media has been so 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 noisy like yesterday was not the highlight of it like kasala bust hmm. so for those of you that didn't understand the gist about cynthia morgan versus judo kui versus medi versus p square versus david doe versus black bones versus to the head not leo cash all, all these artists and you know producers are just bombing each, each other with different versions of the story don't worry i've come to the right channel I have sat, I sat down. Hmm, let me not commit grammatical blunder. I sat down to summarize it. So sit back and relax, okay? Relax. I wanna take care of you, okay? Morgan Free, Cynthia Morgan was the center center of attraction of this story. Now, for those of you that don't know Cynthia Morgan, or maybe because of the gist, like with Cynthia Morgan, she's a Nigerian songwriter and a singer. Like she has like some songs like um German Love, Kuchi Kuchi, some other songs like that. Hmm. So she's been away from the limelight for like about five years and a lot of people have been on a matter. Apparently that's been low key and everything, you know, but that yesterday night, hmm, social media was, was on fire. Hmm. So what happened? May 23rd, how did all these things bust out like, like flames of fire? How did it bust out? It was May 23rd, 2020. It's only this, sometime last week, she was on an Insta Live with, um, Upfront with Sandra. That's the person that Insta Live, uh, Insta Live Put down live on instagram get what i'm trying to say and like okay sis why you all been away what happened to you so sis our sis sister morgan explained that you know she has been depressed like she had issues with her record label her producer did that you know did not promote her blah 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 and she's been suffering from depression she had to move to benin because you know she had to save her money and so many stories so many so many so many touching stories like that okay oh. now how did Jude Okoye, David Do, Medi, Liu Kesh, Black Bones, how did he not enter this Insta Live story? Now let me start with Jude Okoye. Now Jude Okoye is a pretty is a is a boss, like a manager. And she was under the record label Northside um record Northside um entertainment. So in the Insta Live that she was Insta Living with upside up front with Sandra. Okay, she claimed that her boss her manager didn't give her the chance or like she was not allowed to use her stage name or like her name and um he she no longer had access to her social media account and her vivo account and all that she also claimed that um she was not yet free from the record eh, background she was not free from the record label and thirdly she, Jude Okoye was not promoting her so Everybody in the state roaring, you know, like, wow, like, her manager did her daddy, blah, 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 blah. Hmm. So the manager convex. They now went on insta -lived. They insta each other to the Ednos and um, Judokui insta -lived. They insta each other. Judokui was very furious. He now, you know, he had to address the allegations made against him that, sis, like, sis, like, he, he, he has no business with what is she say like she has a right to use her name like she still has access it was like she still has she still has access to a social media uh, social media accounts is like since when she led the record label and he made mention that she was still owing him about 40 million dollars because apparently she signed a contract of 40 million dollars but she left before the contract was over but like he had just been calm about it and everything like it was a serious serious issue like he had to tell to the note that okay send your email address he gave to the note the right to publish the um to, to post the picture of the contract on the social media i don't know if you have done that or i've done your check, check it later so that was it and it was so hot and everything so it was like you don't like it when people make allegations towards him like you know he had to address the matter that he has not seen it and he also claimed that Cynthia Morgan is free from the record label and Cynthia Morgan is saying that she's not free no because I don't even want to be on the social media so I can't anybody have heard about the depression story about Cynthia Morgan and everything and everything and everything when Cynthia Morgan also opened up Medi too came to talk talk his matter because apparently Medi, Peace Square, Cynthia Morgan they were all on this like the same record label they're not like um 
entertainment record label sham so he put his mouth and said that uh he was not really treated very well um in the, in, when he was in the record label blah 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 like he slept in the boys quarters and everything you know he also wanted to like if so now nah, my guy is opening my mouth let me open my mouth too so jude also the manager also um what is it? he also tried to address that part he said that he actually spent over a hundred thousand dollars unofficially on midi he you know he took him to america he, 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 he found all me to put him on a show with acorn i think that's when he sang chop my money because i don't care that that was like i felt the song and then so many other things he goes to like he put him in the house and everything and judy was like wow he took really took care of him and everything that but he was expecting maybe to like you know come back with like, okay this is what i've done and everything but maybe came back i was like he wants a house in, in lake he wants a big car and uh, he needed incentives so he told paul his brother you know he told bro, paul who was formerly known as p square his brother about it he was like ah, don't worry let me give you and everything i'm just telling you what happened <laughs> so p square too that's peter square one of the twins also came and also had to put his mouth inside he said the major reason if i drew he said that the major reason why he won't spoke about this matter since the morgan issue was because his brother p square put his mouth inside if not he was not really interested in it because i felt like he had nothing to do with city morgan anymore so p square was like you know how all of us blamed p square for like splitting up and everything so peter square was like city ah, morgan made the best decision blah 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 like you know this is what they were criticizing him for like three years back and everything shut at apart um apparently Peter Square offers Cynthia Morgan like a contract or a deal, but then she rejected, he even stated it there in the tweet. <laughs> so that was um Cynthia Mo- that was Medi's side of the story and then Cynthia Morgan and so they created a GoFundMe account for Cynthia Morgan from that Insta live, you know, to help and support her biz- uh, her like music career because apart she said she had like unreleased fire songs, you know, to like blow and everything. How did David Doe not enter this gist now? And why are they now fighting David Doe for helping Cynthia Morgan? Now let me explain to you. So, David Doe, obviously, every single person I've really watched that live, except me, because I didn't, maybe I was even sleeping. Guys, the sleep not be the end of me, Jesus, name, amen. So, David Doe was like, okay, she said that Cynthia Morgan called me. We're like mad do like he has some like verses to record with her in an anthem and it's like you shall with the summer of that he wants to promote her and everything like work with her oh why working with all bo ah one in the 30 billion gang so the internet doesn't forget they're like ah david wants to help her wasn't it cynthia morgan sometimes january 2016 was dragging david because apparently cynthia morgan won was um i mean um in 2016 david and cynthia morgan were like the were like the top artists that were pop that they were popping at that point in time and the head is the head is she won the head is for like the best african hip-hop reggae music and everything so she and lukesh were nominated for the same award but she won it but i think lukesh was like the next in line so why was she not angry at david Doe? why was she insulting david Doe? she went on her snapchat she was insulting david Doe and everything why because Le, um davido endorsed Liu Kesh and I think it was stated some time ago that Davido had a mad crush on Cynthia Morgan or so. So I thought she was like ah, it's unfair now. She that won the what's it called that won the award she was not endorsed now Liu Kesh. So she went on a snapchat she was not really dissing David Doe. She was doing so many like foul languages and everything. So the internet went back as far as far as 2016 to bring us that video from the grave. They dug it out and like wow this is David Doe that is trying to help you and sort and everything, blah, 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 blah. Now, we have to look at David Doe's reply when David Doe, when Tita Morgan insulted David Doe. David Doe did not even retaliate, did not say anything. He only prayed for her. Like, that for Morgan, her. 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 don't fight sweets. Don't know. Don't worry, when everything is going smooth in life, don't just look down on anybody. Look at, the, look at David Doe now. So... That was, that was just Sito. So now people are now like dragging Cynthia Morgan because David Doe wants to help and they're like, this is David Doe you saw 10 years back and he's trying to help you. And Cynthia Morgan was shy. We shall help her shy because everyone was drawn towards her, simple, like drawn towards her and everything because she was sick and she had lost a lot. She lost a lot from the record label and don't even know which side of the story is true. I'm just here. Okay, So that's just 
just brings us to the end of the gist. So I hope you understand because guys, I had to sit down to read this thing because I was confused. It's just that I wish I had um taken time to read my books like this. Perhaps I would have had a PhD, but is you two we are on here right now? So help me share your thoughts, help me share your put your comments down, anything I missed, or maybe if I even added I just into my into the story. That's all that that's just all you need to know about the Cynthia Morgan and Judoko HGs and David Doe and everybody's G. So thank you all for keeping up with Plantain Mouth. Okay, we come back next time when there's gist or if I want to share a story about myself. I don't know what I drank this morning, but yeah. So don't forget to subscribe, like, drop a comment. Yeah. We'll see you again.